take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Install some kind of subfloor panel on the concrete before putting down finished flooring. Cold rooms are small enough that you won't need to reroute any heating or cold air ducts. Normal circulation through the open or vented door will distribute basement heat to your new space perfectly. Make your mark, take our lead. Ventilation is very important in cold rooms because these rooms are typically isolated from the rest of the basement by a closed door, which means airflow is limited. Vents that allow fresh outdoor air to come in are needed to keep moisture levels low, ensure adequate airflow and keep mold at bay. Take our lead. How can I prevent mold growth in my cold room? The best way to prevent mold growth in your cold room is to ensure that there is adequate ventilation and airflow. This will help reduce moisture buildup and condensation that create the moist environments that facilitate mold growth. Point six days ago. Let's help you make your mark. You shouldn't insulate the exterior walls of the cold room, you want the air in there to be cool and moist. But you'll still need to have air circulation in a cold room, wine cellar, so make sure it's vented to the outside. And in extreme temperatures you'll want to be able to adjust the airflow. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.